In the sixth century, there was a heresy that flooded North Africa, uh, the, the Church of Augustine. Uh, that heresy was known as Montanism. At the core of it, it has many other things, but at the core of it, that movement said that the canon is not closed, that God still speaks today with the same authority as He did through the men and women who authored the Word of God under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. On one stage, the Church of North Africa had 5,000 dioceses. That is tens of thousands of churches. And here's how it happened. When the Arab armies arrived and invaded North Africa, a Christian land, in the middle of the 600s, Christians did something what some of those pro proponents of Islam today did. And they said, can God be speaking to us in a fresh word from Arabia? And within a short period of time, all the churches, vast majority of them at least, turned into mosques. You see what I mean by my fear of the church departing from biblical moorings. Fast forward a few hundred years when the Turks expanded Islam all the way to Austria. It was on the corpse of a heretical, weak, non-biblical church. And I must tell you that as I look around today and I see the church is plagued by universalism, heterodoxy, uh, hyper-grace, emergent church, the insider movement, Islam. I grieve more and become more concerned about this than I am about Islamists who what they call third jihad.